The power law is simply this, that the smaller the thing, the larger the magnitude. Let's take an example of lions or tigers or bears. Oh my, no, just kidding. But really, let's take the idea of elephants versus tigers. There's probably 10 times more tigers than there are elephants. And this law will keep going down. There's more hyenas than there are tigers. There's more uh, rabbits than there are hyenas. Does this break down into business principles as well? Looking at like martial arts schools, 80% of your student base is just gonna come in and do their group classes. 20% of that student base will actually do weekly private lessons with you. 20% of the 20% will now do three private lessons a week on top of the group classes. As you get down and break down these 20%, 20%, 20%, these things build in magnitude. So now somebody that's paying $150 for martial arts lessons in the group setting, you have the next person that may be spending about five to $600 on one private lesson a week, plus the group setting, and now the 20% of the 20%, now you have somebody that may be spending $1,000 or $2,000 a month on jujitsu or martial arts because they're doing private lessons two to three times per week. The idea is that there's layers of this that you need to be tapping into. If you only have group classes, you're probably missing out on a lot of revenue from different students that are willing to pay different amounts so what this allows you to do is price things differently for different people. You can have a private lesson only membership, a semi-private membership. You can have all kinds of different membership levels at different price points to fit in the need or the want of your student that's willing to pay top dollar for those programs.